Does smoking cigars raise testosterone? Popular figures like Andrew Tate and others, especially in the manosphere, have claimed that cigars do raise testosterone. You know what boosts testosterone by 15%? Smoking! Fat cigar. Cigar's good for your testosterone. And when you Google, does smoking cigars increase testosterone, the first thing you see is a study confirming that belief. So is it true? Should you start smoking to increase your manliness so that women start flocking at you? Well, today we'll find out. This video will be separated into three chapters. Why do people want higher testosterone? Do cigars increase testosterone? And what are the natural ways of increasing your testosterone levels? Why do people want higher testosterone? Why do people care so much about this hormone that they're willing to engage in risky behaviors in order to raise it? Well, let's first talk about what happens with too low or too high testosterone. Too low testosterone, called hypogonadism, affects about 20 to 40% of men and can cause low sex drive, fatigue, reduced lean muscle mass, irritability, erectile dysfunction, and depression. So low testosterone is definitely not good. But on the opposite hand, too high testosterone can also cause a few problems. Problems like low sperm counts, shrinking of the testicles and impotence, heart muscle damage, and increased risk of heart attack, prostate enlargement with difficulty urinating, liver disease, acne, and a bunch of other problems. But to be clear, too high testosterone rarely happens naturally and is usually the result of excessive use of TRT. So now we know what happens with too little or too high testosterone, but what will happen if a guy with below average or average testosterone got just a little boost? Well, first, mixed with exercise, it would increase his growth hormone and make it easier to build and maintain muscles. Then if he had hypogonadism, it would increase his libido, his mood, better his heart health, and increase his verbal, spatial, and mathematical abilities. However, if he had average testosterone, the effects would be less noticeable, but it would still help with muscle growth. And since it has been found that testosterone decreases with age, it's now easy to understand why people would want more. Does smoking cigars raise testosterone? Surprisingly, it's a hard question to answer for two reasons. The first one is that most, if not all the studies done on smoking and testosterone have been done with cigarettes and not cigars. But that's not a huge problem considering they're both pretty similar. The second reason is because I haven't found a single study that's been able to prove a causation. Some are able to find a relationship between higher testosterone and smoking, but none are able to prove that one caused the other. And that's a huge problem. Let's take, for example, the first study that you find when Googling does smoking cigars raise testosterone. It states that smoking men had 15% higher total and 13% higher free testosterone levels compared with men who never smoked. They got that result by comparing men who smoked to men who didn't and then control for BMI, age, and other factors. Do you see the limitation with this study? What if it wasn't the smoking that caused the testosterone, but the testosterone that caused the smoking? One study claims that men with higher testosterone tend to seek new experiences, new sensations, and are willing to take more risk to get those sensations. It can be financial risk or a health risk like smoking. So it could be the case that men with higher testosterone represent a higher percentage of the population that smokes, thus skewing the results. That means that we can never be sure what caused what. So does smoking cigars raise testosterone? Mm, maybe. Science is a bit disappointing sometimes. But here's a study that we could do that could get us closer to an answer. We could take 100 men who've never smoked before, test their testosterone, and then make them smoke two or three cigars a week. Then after six months, a year or two, or whatever the time, the longer the better, we could bring them back to the lab and test their testosterone again. Obviously, this study would still have some limitations, but if the results came back higher, then I would be willing to accept this as a fact. But until then, it's still a maybe. What are the natural ways of boosting your testosterone? So I could sit here for hours and hours and talk about what increases and decreases your testosterone levels and what we're sure about and the limitations of each and every study for hours on end, blah, 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 blah. But as I was researching this topic, I noticed a pattern. I noticed that most of the thing that increases your testosterone are also found in a healthy lifestyle. So there's no magical or weird thing about it. You don't need to watch porn and eat oysters. All you need to do is have a healthy lifestyle. The healthier your lifestyle is, the 
the easier it will be for you to maintain a high level of testosterone. That's it. If you eat well, sleep well, do some high intensity training, don't like any nutrients and minimize chronic stress, your T levels are going to go up. However, if you're fat, if you eat junk food, if you don't sleep well, you sleep five hours a night, you never exercise and you're stressed all the time, then your T levels are going to go down. So I'll end this chapter right here. I'll cut it short because as long as there's part of your lifestyle that's unhealthy, you don't need to know more. So in conclusion, should you smoke cigars? Well, if your only reason to smoke cigars is because it might raise your testosterone, then don't do it. It's not a good reason. Treat it like alcohol. Should you drink alcohol? Probably not. It probably would be healthier for you to not drink at all. But in life, there must be a balance between health and pleasure. And if you can strike a balance with cigars and not overdo it, then who am I to tell you no? Just be aware of the consequences. That's it. With that said, thank you for watching. If you think I got anything wrong, don't hesitate to tell me in the comments. And if you like the video, put a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm Michael. See you next time.